Welcome to Orlando Live. I'm Raisa Pascal. We are at City Arts Factory kicking off the first third Thursday of 2017. Let's go check it out. Right here, there's a piece, and it's called uh, it's called Purple Rain. It's more a dedication to as a fan to him instead of doing a piece of him. I don't like doing pieces of like dead artists because it's like they inspired us to be who we are and make what we do. So. It's, it's the fan that never got to go to the show. It's all about nature. I love nature and uh, I'm a person who loves to express uh, the beauty of nature through the paint. My intentions here today is to uh, express uh, that we have to take care of this. This is really important, take care of nature and you know, it's the best way I can do it. I can do it. Right. Some people can do it through money, through donations, things like that. and. and and proactive. I can do it. If I can do it through art, some other means, I'll do it. I'm the uh, CEO of Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Florida. We operate uh, 31 Boys and Girls Clubs in uh, Brevard, Orange, Los Hill, and Seminole counties. Well, it's one of our core areas, and it's something that are, we've been able to develop the talent of the kids through the years. So a lot of our kids walk in the door, they don't know they have art talent, but if we give them the exposure and the encouragement, that we're able to develop it. I mean, I hope they continue to be inspired. That's my hope to, for them to continue to be inspired, not only um, when they come to the Boys and Girls Club, but also in their own daily lives. Um, I create from a photo. First I sketch it out, and then I have different kinds of pencils, and then I blend it, and then for the hair, I stroke it with um, a darker pencil. So I've um, only been doing abstracts for about two years, been painting with this group since 2003, and um, I find the abstracts very freeing to do. There's something about a picture that you just can't stop staring at it. I, I draw it out and then I paint it, and, and um, so these are my babies. <laughs> you see a variety of prints, color crafts, etchings, and collage prints. And they all spun off this centerpiece, which is um, a critical piece about us and them, inspired by last year's news. Last fall, Standing Rock was all over the social media and the news, and it got me thinking if there's anything I could express in art that is positive. So this is artwork from my current collection, the Hourglass Collection, and so it's a play on symbolic interaction. Uh, it's a theory in socialism, discusses how we build our own associations. It is very subjective. Um, I mean, that's the point of the collection, I believe. I want the association to play with everyone's imagination, for them to see maybe power and strength or conflict. So, you know, whatever it is that they see. I hope that people see that a lot of love went into it. Um, I really love what I do. I love you know, my small business that I started, which granted me the opportunity to be here tonight. And I want people to say, you know, whoever created this really cared about it. And that's the biggest honor, you know. Now it may be a new year, but as you can see, all the artwork is just as great as before. Stick with Orlando Live this year. We're gonna be here every third Thursday bringing you all the highlights. I'm Raisa Pascal. Don't forget to keep Orlando awesome, and we'll see you next time.